Patient's in cardiac arrest. Administer 10 cc's adrenaline. No. No effect. Stand clear. Huh. No response. There's nothing else we can do. The patient's flatlining. Come on, we're on the guard. Come on! It's hopeless. Simply limits to what the body can take. Damn! Heartbeat stopped. Kid was a fighter, but lost this one. Wildcard's not coming out of it. We've lost a real hero. Damn this war! <laughs> Major, Wildcard's casket is ready for burial. Maybe the kid was one of the lucky ones. Wildcard! Wildcard, come in! Wildcard, do you got me? Major, aliens on attack vector. They're closing fast! Can anyone hear me? Is there anyone out there? Please, someone, answer me. We never met our enemy face to face. No bodies were found in the space debris, and all of the egg chambers withered and died as their masters were destroyed. Their machines stand lifeless in the ruins, frozen in the moment of their last command. Humankind rebuilt upon the ashes, Nations drew close, for now they found a common purpose and will to survive. And at last our planet knew true peace. Perhaps the greatest tragedy is that after thousands of years of human history, it ultimately required this terrible war between the worlds for us to realize that we are all of the same kind. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you a special report. Good evening. Unexpected meteor showers have been reported over North America, Europe, and Asia, causing widespread damage and disruption to many communication systems. The National Weather Service report. Oh. Control room, what is going on? And Al, what is? What the hell is going on? Major Stewart, you getting this? Affirmative. Commander Crane, unidentified flying objects approaching Earth. Plot their approach vector and sound red alert. My God. There are thousands of them. Norad and Edwards aren't responding. Nothing yet from SAC. They must be jamming us somehow. Call up the pilot roster. All right. What can we get in the air now? Uh, Easton. Just got in today. Mm, thank God. We'll need John. He's as good a squad leader as it gets. Who else? Mm, Chang. She's good. A risk taker, but solid. I know Alomar. Good fighter. Yeah. He'll come through. Hauser. Small package, but she packs a big punch. Probably the best we got. Mm, Scott, he's a good shooter, but he treats everything like a game. Oh, we got the rookie. Just in from Miramar. He's a real ace on the simulators. But in combat, who knows? Well, we stand a fighting chance with this crew. I just hope that the kid can cut it.
Wildcard, I think it's a mistake, but the old man is sending you in. Stay cool. Play it safe and straight, people. Boomer out! It's Scott, sir. Damaged right thruster. This is as good as it gets, sports fans. It's gonna be a long slide in the hole. All pilots have reported in, sir. We've made it through round one. Yes, Dr. Lawrence? I've studied the initial scans from Moscow and London. It's very strange. The aliens are using some sort of chemical agent. Those exposed seem to be in a state of shock. No reactions. Not even to explosions or uh, falling debris. Air samples are inconclusive. Keep on it. What about civilian channels? Take a look at this. Reports are coming in that many strategic bases across the U.S. were attacked within the last hour. Eyewitnesses have been unable to identify the attackers, but they speculate that we're being attacked by alien invaders. Washington was also hit hard. It's, it's rumored that the president survived the initial attack and has been hiding, presumably underground. In the Middle East, a heroic effort by a lone fighter pilot has allowed local forces to drive the aliens into retreat. And here in New York, thousands of people have subways trying to escape the effects of toxic chemical weapons. We've uh, locked our doors here in the studio and we'll remain on the air as long as we can. All right, listen up, everybody. It's a worldwide attack. There's no word from the Pentagon or Washington. Almost all airfields, bases, and missile silos were hit. Our first strikes had minimal impact. Now, luckily, the satellite defense net is still operational, so we've been tracking them pretty closely. Tactical file, please. This is a scout, top speed Mach 1, armed with short-range weapons, highly maneuverable. Too light to withstand repeated hits. Listen for lock-on, or it'll be all over you. Yeah, now, this is an interceptor, top speed Mach 2. It fires some sort of energy sphere which explodes on contact. But it's an easy target while it recharges. Now, these mobile tripods are slow, but armed with 360-degree firepower. Play hit and run with the bastards as long as you can. It's total chaos down there, and until we hear from Washington, it looks like it's up to us. All right. Let's go! Mayday, Mayday, this is the Space Shuttle Endeavor. We are under attack. Request immediate assistance. Endeavor, this is the Omaha. Omaha, come in. Dr. Lawrence? Anything on that chemical analysis? Yes, sir. Exposure to the alien gas produces muscle spasms, arrhythmia, in many cases, paralysis. I might be able to counter the effects with medication, but um, we'll need more time. We're playing on their timetable now, Doctor. Anything else? Uh, yes, I have more tactical on alien craft from the defense net. Wildcard encountered this heat-seeking fighter, moves at speeds approaching Mach 4, and is equipped with two medium-range weapons. Also carries light shielding, but it doesn't maneuver well. Now this is intriguing. These giant collectors are transporting gassed victims to newly constructed containment facilities, or prisons, if you will. I believe these collectors use an internal vacuum system to entrap their victims. You're telling me they're actually sucking people off the street? It appears so. Now, the prisons are surrounded by power cells that create a protective force field. Hitting these cells should deactivate the field, but both the collectors and the prisons are heavily protected. I've downloaded this information for the pilots. All right, thanks, Doctor. I, I hope they can make sense of this. I sure as hell can't. for landing bay three. Lieutenant Hauser, what is your location? Uh, looks like I'm about 20 clicks from Dover. Uh, the aliens are building a damn alien city down here. I'm going in for a closer look before I pull out of here. Watch yourself, Spike. I'm picking up a lot of alien activity around there. Sir, Hauser's 
down. I can't lock in on our homing beacon. Sending alert to French search and rescue. Now, with Paris under attack, they'll never make it. Who can we send? Wild cards in for refit. Should be on deck in 15 minutes. Make it five. Here in the east, the president has issued this statement before communication lines were lost to Washington. I quote, let me assure the American people we're doing everything we can to protect you. I appeal to every man, woman, and child to stay calm. I know we can do it if we all work together. We can't afford any more mistakes. Now, the aliens have control of North America and Europe and most of Central and South America. They're swarming over Africa and Asia, and we believe Australia's fallen. Now they're walking all over us. What's the latest intel? Tactical file, please. I expect you've all seen these before. Yeah, yeah. Mach 300 is armed with multi-burst lasers. They're tough as hell, but not very stable. Clip them and they go down. Exactly. Now, this is an anti-aircraft vehicle. Top speed, 55 clicks, multiple gun barrels. But they're slow shooters. It takes them a couple of seconds to fire after targeting, so shoot fast. These are supply transports. They're moving construction materials to remote sites. They have heavy shielding. So make a long pass, target a specific point on their surface, and hit them as many times as you can. And even then, you might not get through that arm. Well, this time you'll all be loaded up with Hellfire long-range missiles. Now that should give you some edge, but I still need 110%. Now you heard the man. Let's get out of here and go and kick some alien butt! Yes, Dr. Lawrence. Commander, I'm truly astonished at how quickly the aliens are able to construct new war machines. Now we're seeing hundreds of these monolithic structures everywhere. Data indicates these structures are actually excavators digging very deep beneath the Earth's surface, perhaps even for miles. Why would they be digging? I'm not sure. It seems to have no tactical importance. Perhaps it has something to do with their reason for coming here. Guns appear useless against these excavators. They can only be stopped by multiple missile hits. We've also detected submersibles. These craft clock in at almost 65 knots and fire up to three projectiles per second. The subs are only visible when they surface to shoot. It was one of these subs that took out Hauser. She never knew what hit her. Air support. Sir! Uh I'm getting a transmission from the Kennedy. Oh my God, is she still operational? Yes, sir. Now approaching the Hawaiian Islands. She's requesting air support. Put her online. Becker, is that you? Tom, thank God you heard us. The aliens are moving into Pearl. I can't hold them by myself. Get me some air support. Frank, you're a sitting duck. Get out of there. I'm not about to give paradise to these monsters. Just send whatever help you can spare. Kennedy out. Damn. Send Wildcard out there. Sir, the place is crawling with aliens. And they were probably listening. We'll have to maintain radio silence over the target area. But, I, uh, sir, Look, I... I can't allow them to trace our position. They'll find us soon enough, and when they do, we'll be the sitting duck. Despite efforts by local police, uh, the National Guard, and by scattered military forces, there appears to be no stopping the advance of the alien army. In New York, giant alien machines are reducing the city to rubble and, and, and brutally capturing thousands of civilians. Here in the studio, we have we have no food, we have very little water. I, I'm not sure how much longer we can last. There's got to be a way to stop these bastards. Yes, Doctor. I'm afraid we've discovered what the aliens have been digging for. It's their eggs. Eggs? Are you sure? Yes, look at this. The eggs have been buried for hundreds, possibly thousands of years. The aliens have simply come back for them. God, that means it... The Earth is a breeding ground. Have any of these eggs hatched? I don't think so. The eggs are unearthed and transferred into armored vehicles, which may be giant incubators. I think our problems are just beginning, Commander. I want tactical nukes dropped on all these damned egg sites. Do we have any confirmed targets? Um, 
Yes, sir, there's a massive egg site in eastern Utah. Looks like Monument Valley. Burn them to the ground if you have to. This is a nightmare. Omaha, I'm coming in over the Big Apple. Looks bad. Real bad. Everybody must be underground. Well, what'd you expect? A Thanksgiving Day parade? All right! Spike! You're back! Hey, come on, Boomer. Let's go scramble us up some eggs. I'll bring the hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Best keep the channels clear, squad leader. You're coming up on your target zone. Yeah, yeah, copy that, Omaha. I'm just glad to have her back. Boomer out. Commander Crane. Yes, Doctor. It appears the aliens are transporting thousands of civilians to the excavating sites. You can stop these transports if you carefully target the lead vehicles. It doesn't make sense. Why, why move prisoners in the middle of a war? I fear these captives are being used as sustenance for the eggs during final gestation. You're telling me that they're using people as food for the eggs? Precisely. God, they're being eaten alive. been together a long time. You know me, I don't take a backward step. But my people can't take much more of this. We keep hitting them, they keep coming at Look, us. John, you gotta keep them together a little while longer. These giant silos are your next targets. Now our scans suggest that these silos lead to vast underground chambers. And Lawrence thinks they're storing the eggs there for protection during the final stages. Now we can't let the eggs hatch. Hitting the silos from the air won't cut it. You've gotta go inside. Inside? That entrance looks pretty damn tight to me. It is. So you're telling me we gotta fly straight down the barrel? We could lose a, a lot of people here, Look, Tom. Tom, we got no choice. Now go right through the center, you'll make it. What are these arms sticking out of the silo clusters? You well, know, the doc thinks they might be landing pads. Landing pads? Yeah. You think they're expecting company? You know, somehow I have the feeling we haven't seen the real enemy yet. I think we've been fighting their machines. Major, oxygen depletion reaching critical levels. Without the O2 generators, we've got less than five hours. Acknowledged. Keep me informed. Hey, turn off that damn alarm. Commander, the aliens have seeded the upper atmosphere with signal beacons. They're transmitting some sort of coded signals beyond our galaxy. Looks like they're sending out the invitations. Sir, you better come take a look at this. I'm picking up ghost frequencies on comm channels three and four. Looks like a trace, sir. They found us. Jam all comm frequencies and transmit the decoy profile. Take us to full alert. Right. How's our oxygen status? Uh, we're rationing to mission critical areas. I'd say we're only operational another 90 minutes. Well, once we lose the bridge, all systems shut down automatically. Oh, if only we could have saved the shuttle endeavor. Our O2 generators went down with her. But she still might be able to help us. What's left of her? Well, she's scattered for miles over Paris, and the aliens are all over the wreckage. It's a long shot, but if those generators are still intact, we got a chance. Get Wildcard out there, use the towing remotes to bring it in, and set scanners for long-range intercept. Embrace yourself, Major. We're gonna have company. Commander, they're coming in. We can't lock on their approach vector. My god, they're on us. Starboard gunners, lock and fire. Launch base hit. Can't get Scott and Chang out of there. Decent Hauser, where the hell are you? I'm on them. Coming in on their backside. You think they're still on their backside, Omaha? I'm moving in for a good spank. Bogies are moving out on us, Omaha. Looks like a hit and run. Come on, Spike. Time for the old one-two punch. Nah, nah, it's a negative, Boomer. Just step aside, Big Daddy. I owe these. Scanner indicates an unbelievable energy source. My God, what is it? The alien command ship. Finally, they show us their hand.
guards coming out of it. The inhibitors are wearing off. Looks good. What's wild card status, doctor? The patient lost consciousness upon impact. Scans show no real brain damage, just a mild concussion. Other than that, Wildcard suffers from your garden variety bumps and bruises. <laughs> the kid was lucky. Thanks, Doctor. What's the status on Wildcard? Wildcard is on deck in Hangar 1. I hope the kid gets it right this time. Come on, kid, pull through! The heart stabilized. Looks good. Dr. Lawrence, request wildcard status. Wildcard was fortunate, Major. It was touch and go for a while, but the kid dodged a bullet. Thank you, Doctor. Wildcard, proceed with launch sequence. Stand by for booster ignition. You are clear for takeoff. Wildcard is away. Dr. Lawrence, requesting wildcard status. The patient suffers from two cracked ribs and is showing signs of extreme exhaustion. I recommend 24-hour observation. Negative, doctor. We need every pilot out there. Tell wildcard to report to Hangar 1 for immediate launch. Commander Crane is sending you back, wildcard. You must complete your mission. We don't have pilots to spare. Stand by for booster ignition. Major, I'm finding that the patient suffers from rotator cuff damage and severe hydrocarbon contamination. In other words, a dislocated shoulder and smoke inhalation. Finish patching up the kid. I've got hangar one waiting. I'm the doctor here. The pilots require more than just hit and run medicine. This Excuse is not me, the doctor, but I'm to... the flight controller here, and we are trying to win a war. Get wildcard to hangar one now. Yes, sir. Wildcard, proceed with launch sequence. Stand by for booster ignition. You are clear for takeoff. Patients in cardiac arrest, administer 10 cc's adrenaline. No, no effect. Stand clear. Huh, no response. There's nothing else we can do. The patient's flatlining. Come on, wildcard. Come on! It's hopeless. There's simply limits to what the body can take. Damn! Heartbeat stopped. Kid was a fighter, but lost this one. Wildcard's not coming out of it. 
We've lost a real hero. Damn this war! Major, Wildcard's casket is ready for burial. Maybe the kid was one of the lucky ones. Planetary Defense Log 2026. Commander Elena Stewart, UNS Omaha. It has been seven years since our victory over the alien invaders. They struck hard and fast, ravaging massive segments of the world's population, crippling most of its defenses, and causing widespread devastation across the globe. It was also incredibly quick and unexpected. We were overwhelmed, our forces nearly depleted, then, in what seemed our final hour, Wild Card slipped through the enemy attackers making an heroic solo assault upon the alien mothership, destroying its hive-like brain. In that instant, the war ended. But the aliens were thorough in their destruction, and we were strained beyond the breaking point. The despair and the horror would leave lasting scars on us all. The flames died, and the smoke cleared. The alien machines lay harmless across the battlefield. Amidst the wreckage, the people united to rebuild their lives. I was placed in command of the Omaha, assuming responsibility for the refitting and regrouping of our orbital defenses. Admiral Crane was commissioned to develop a new UN Special Forces Division. We would not be caught off guard again. We sent probes throughout our solar system. They would warn us if the enemy should return. Imagine our surprise at learning. They were already here. Commander Elena Stewart, UNS Omaha, reporting. We arrived at Mars uncontested and immediately began evaluating the extent of the alien occupation. Data from the Sentry probe confirms the existence of at least one and possibly two areas of alien activity. I am ordering an immediate strike on the alien positions. We don't know what's going on down there, but we're about to find out. Defense Log Transmission Supplemental. Our first strike on the enemy positions was successful. We targeted and eliminated several gas-generating machines. Looks like the aliens were attempting to create an artificial atmosphere. Scans of the northern ice cap have confirmed the presence of a second concentration of alien forces. We're going in for another attack. It appears the aliens were trying to tailor the Martian environment to fit their needs. We stopped them just in time. We discovered a life form packed in the prison transports and left a science team behind to study them. Apparently, we're not the only victims in this war. Since receiving intelligence data on alien activity in the vicinity of Jupiter, we have been on an intercept course under maximum acceleration. It has given us some time to recover from casualties we've sustained. We are now approaching Jupiter's moon Io, where a vast alien force has gathered. I am ordering an immediate strike with everything I have. We have eliminated the alien staging ground on Io. Where are the attackers themselves? And why only machines? Have we spilled a drop of their blood in this war? Have we hurt them? Can we hurt them? My questions may be answered on Titan. Probes have found the ruins of an ancient alien outpost. I am sending Dr. Yamada and his team down to find some answers. Wildcard will provide air cover. Dr. Yamada has found evidence that the aliens have a base on an asteroid near Neptune. He believes it to be near the location of a dimensional jump gate, a portal, which would give our enemy the ability to enter our system at will without warning. Repeated attempts to approach the jump gate have been thwarted by a powerful energy field. 
The source of the field is located on the asteroid. I'm ordering Wildcard to find it and destroy it. We have destroyed the alien forces. UN Command feels our system is secure. I know better. Now we are ordered to hold position and await further instructions while a science team is sent to examine the jump gate. We don't have the time. Why do they still not see the risk? How can they ignore the danger? They may not see the answer, but I do. Inform command that the jump gate has been destroyed. Fire. Come on, kid, pull through! The heart's stabilized. Looks good. Wild card's coming out of it. The inhibitors are wearing off. Looks good. Wild card, how do you feel? Well, you look fine to me. Report to the hangar immediately. Your fighter is waiting. Ice will fill you in. Watch your tail. Sorry, wild card, but R&R is officially over. I need you back in the air. Now. Looks pretty bad down there. We're counting on you.